Did you know in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? It's possible that house elves were free in America. Some of the house elves in this movie could be seen wearing regular clothing and being openly disrespectful and rude towards humans without being afraid of repercussions for their actions. On the other hand, the house elves in the Harry Potter movie's British Wizarding World were held in servitude until their owners gave them proper clothing and were forbidden to own wands. Although they could perform magic without them. Did you know in Black Widow, Yelena names her dog after Natasha? Natasha Romanoff escapes to Norway and lives in a caravan for some time, whilst avoiding being on the run from Agent Ross for breaking the Sokovia Accords. During this time, her ally Rick Mason brings her a fake ID and passport, where he changed her name to Fanny Longbottom. While there's nothing more to the name, in the tearjerker of a post credit scene we see her sister Yelena visit her grave with her dog, who she named Fanny, clearly in honor of Natasha. Did you know in The Truman Show, there are cameras hidden in plain sight that the viewers even miss? The whole premise of the movie is that Truman, played by Jim Carrey, is being filmed and is the star of a reality TV show he's not been aware of his entire life. What most viewers also weren't aware of was that cameras were in shots early on in the film that would have given away most of the plot, but were just missed. At first viewing, people complained about the odd angles of some scenes or overly static shots without realizing this was done to capture the hidden cameras. Did you know in The Social Network? It was mentioned that Facebook made Mark the biggest thing on campus that included 19 Nobel laureates, 15 Pulitzer Prize winners, two future Olympians, and a movie star. The movie star was actually Natalie Portman, who was enrolled at Harvard from 1999 to 2003. The Israeli-born American actress was studying an undergraduate degree in psychology at Harvard in 2003 when the film takes place. She was also acting in the Star Wars prequel trilogy at the time, hence her status as a movie star. Interestingly, she was also involved in helping prepare the movie script. Aaron Sorkin, the scriptwriter, referenced Natalie Portman in his script because he did not attend Harvard and was limited in the information he could acquire for his research. Portman's insights into life at Harvard helped him get an honest look into college life and culture. Did you know in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? As we watch Wanda's actions throughout this entry and hear about her destroying Vision, it ties this in perfectly with the 2004 Avengers storyline, Avengers Disassembled. In that, Wanda's also the villain as a result of a mental breakdown. And just like in this film, Doctor Strange is the one to actually defeat her. Did you know in Stranger Things, Steve manages to get brutally beat up in every season so far. In season 1 he gets beat up by Jonathan, in season 2 he gets beat up by Billy, in season 3 the Russians beat him up to get information out of him, and in season 4 he gets beat up and viciously attacked by the demo bat after he's pulled into the Upside Down. Did you know in Jurassic World Dominion? Barry shows Owen and Claire a tablet that's full of CIA dossiers, and he points out that he isn't the only Jurassic World employee that had been recruited to the agency. As he flips through the names, we can see Lauren Lapkus as Vivian, and Jake Johnson's Lowry as two of the Maserani Corporation workers that were recruited from the control center after the first Jurassic World film. Did you know in The Mitchells vs. The Machines, the family pug Monchi was voiced by celebrity dog Doug the Pug? The celebrity dog had over 13 million followers over social media platforms and even won the People's Choice Award for Animal Star in 2019. So he was famous in his own right before the film. Looking at his Instagram, it's clear to see the resemblance of Monchi and Doug. But the producers went further and had Doug make the noises for Monchi to add integrity to the character.